Well, Dave, you are truly all over the place when it comes to styles of music. Well, I, <laughs> I like to get around, yeah. Yeah. So, so you, this is a, a duo. It's a duo. If you, you haven't made a duo album before. I've never, I haven't made a do, duo or a solo album, but um, yeah, so I, this is with Alan Hager on guitar and I'm playing piano and it's a funky little acoustic piano. It's real piano from O'Connor's, all recorded uh -huh. live at O'Connor's vault in Multnomah Village. Uh -huh. How long have you, have you been playing with Alan? Um, you know, I met Alan over a decade ago playing with uh, Chris Mather. And uh, I've played with him as a sideman in various projects since then. But I, uh, I called, I called him up a little over a year ago and said, "Hey, man, you wanna, you wanna do a duo? You wanna try this out?" And we just, uh, I think the first time we just completely winged it. We just showed up and we'd each call a tune and go back and forth. And uh, and uh, he he call one, I'd call one, and. and we made it through the night and said, "Well, this is cool. We should uh, we should actually get together and uh, and have a rehearsal or two. So we we we've done that. We don't we don't rehearse every week, but we've gotten together. So it's grown from just sort of calling uh, tunes that we could jam on to uh, to, uh, uh, to to a little more complicated material and and um, and we we actually go all over the map. We'll have. We'll play some traditional blues stuff, and we'll play some, some, um, uh, you know, Little Brother Montgomery that's got a little more chord changes to it, and we'll we'll play, you know, even some some Bob Dylan, and uh, so, so we we span the whole century. I like to I like to think we play American roots music. Yeah, I mean, really, everything from leopard skin pillbox hat to House of the Rising Sun. That's yeah. quite a <laughs> quite quite a, quite a spread there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess so. Uh, we, we both like all styles of music. I mean, Alan, Alan was actually a classical player, or he is, you know, I guess you don't stop being one. He doesn't perform as, uh, in that style as much, but he's, he's, uh, we both span a lot of different styles, so it's fun to, to have the freedom in the duo context to kind of go a lot of different places. But we both are grounded in blues and, and, uh, and R&B too, so. Um, so you sing on here too? Yeah, yeah. We both uh, we both sing. You haven't recorded a lot of your own singing, have you? You know, not since high school. <laughs> I, I I primarily focused on yeah. um, on being a, a piano player or an organ player and a, and, and a side man really for a, a long time. Um, I've tried to to front a couple of various projects, but yeah, those were more instrumental uh, focused. But I played with a lot of singers, so I've learned from them. <laughs> and I've always sung, you know. I, 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 it's not that I, I think every musician s sings some, you know, um, at some point. So I just, I, I decided it was time to get back into it. Do you, do you consider the, the organ your first instrument or the piano? Well, the piano was definitely the first instrument. I think I I played a lot of Hammond B3, and I actually used to lug the actual Hammond around a lot. How do you do that? <laughs> well, I had a van and a system for 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 going up the ramp, and and I could do it all by myself. Get the 300-pound organ. It was on wheels, so I a lot of times at the end of the night, I'd have someone try to help me, and depending on their level of uh, inebriation, I would. E either decide that they could be helpful or not. That's always amazed me <laughs> how anybody could could take a Hammond B3 on the road with them. Yeah, and mine got beat up on the road. I, it actually yeah. did take it down to California on a couple of tours, and, yeah. um, and it was yeah. It's definitely it doesn't even have a back on it anymore. I, I got lost in some <laughs> bar. <laughs> um, but. Uh, yeah, I so I I, and I think I got sort of uh, known as a Hammond player because of yeah. for hauling that around. But uh, I've always loved the piano as well, and I have my um, my grandmother left me her baby grand chickering. Wow. And so when I when when she left me that, and I had an actual real instrument in the home to practice on uh -huh. instead of either a beat up old spinet or a you know a digital keyboard to practice on, that made a huge difference in my relationship with the piano too. Yeah. Yeah. Having constant access to that. Yeah. Well, you, you you've made jazz albums. Are you going to come back to that? Well, I don't think that the, you know, this is probably more of a roots and and blues uh, leaning record. This is. Um, yeah. This is. Yeah. And I uh, I 
I uh, I think we've got a couple original records in us ah, uh -huh. that will probably be the next thing to happen. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I, I think we, we have, uh, I think that Alan and I both have enough original material to fill up two more records. Uh -huh. um, so we'll see where this duo takes us uh, in terms of that. Um, I, there's there's definitely some jazz influence in there. Yeah. Uh, I and I it's hard to know what, where I'll yeah. where I'll be in in, uh, in the coming years. Right now, this feels really good to me to be doing this. It's, it's um, playing with Alan's uh, really been. I, I don't know. I feel like it's an awakening for me. We really we really respond to each other. It's about the most fun that I've had playing music in um, in quite a while. So wow. I'm just pushing to, to try to do more of that. I'm still playing with other groups. And, yeah. Who else do you play with? Um, I've been playing with a singer uh, based out of San Francisco named Earl Thomas, and he's uh, he's written songs for Etta James. He's he I, I met him on a blues cruise when I was playing with Curtis Elgato, and I'll be going to uh, Norway with him in October, uh, and I. I play with him in San Francisco once a month. You play Hammond or piano? Piano. Ah. Yeah, it's a it's a digital piano. But, yeah. uh, that's nice. I just fly in. There's a piano there. It's there an go. easy load. It's <laughs> long travel, but <laughs> um, he's great. In fact, I'll be bringing um, or helping to bring him uh, to the Alberta Rose at the end of October for a benefit, race and roof benefit, in which a whole bunch of local uh, musicians. We'll be hearing more about that. In the, in the, coming weeks. I think we just got the press release finished. So uh -huh. that, that'll, um, that'll be happening. I've been playing with Karen Lovely and um, and uh, Toka Libra uh, a lot. Ricardo and the Oye, the you Oye play with, with Toka Libra? Yeah, yeah. That's great. We, I just played with them. And that's really fun because it's so different. Yeah. And that's a challenge to play them on two I've never heard them with a keyboard player. Um, yeah. What a I, great idea. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. Well, you know, I recorded their their um, their album, uh -huh. and uh, I've been, I, I've, I've known R Ricardo since, I actually was there at the end of Rubberneck, so I've known him. Were you, did you play in Rubberneck? I played in Rubberneck. What a great band. <laughs> that was a great it band. It was a great band, yeah. Um, so, uh, that, that's fun, it's just to do something different, but that's all piano, too. Uh -huh. And so, I've, I've definitely been doing more, more piano-based stuff lately, although I've, I'm playing, I'm we call it an organ trio. I am playing through a Leslie, but I do yeah. Thursday nights at the Lodge with Ben Rice and Dave Melian too. Uh -huh. That's a um, that's a Hammond sound. I use a Hammond sound. I do run it through a Leslie, but I'm not taking it. My van broke down, and that was actually the end of bringing the Hammond out. <laughs> well, uh, listen. Best of luck with the with, with the album, and uh, uh, you're at O'Connor's next week. I'm at O'Connor's tonight. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow Wednesday night. is to, when? Wednesday is to, oh, would be Wednesday. tonight. Oh, okay, Wednesday, tonight. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and and then the, and then the following and Wednesday. then the following Wednesday as well, and we'll have the CDs. The available. scene of the crime where it was recorded. Yeah, that's right. It okay. seemed appropriate to, to right. be releasing it there. Oh, great! Best of luck with the album. Oh, thank you so much, Tom.